Maybe I'll win a comic book award one day. My name is Liang. I'm an infectious disease physician by training. I work in antimicrobial resistance and global health at the Saucy Hawk School of Public Health. For COVID-19, I'm part of a team that is looking to estimate how long immunity to COVID-19 lasts, especially in those who have very few symptoms or are asymptomatic. I'm also testing alternative ways of collecting samples, such as saliva or self-administered nasal swabs, and to see whether these methods are as good as the current nasopharyngeal swab, which can be quite intrusive and painful for many people. To educate the public, I'm working with Sunny Liu, multi Eisner award-winning graphic novelist, to come up with a series of comic strips on COVID-19. My work with Sunny precedes COVID-19. We developed and came up with the antibiotic tales last year, also to educate the public about antimicrobial resistance. Everyone I know reads comics, but very few will go to the trouble of looking at an actual scientific paper. So I feel that the comic strips are a good medium to try to explain and educate about difficult scientific concepts around COVID-19, such as the r naught transmissibility, why we go on to lockdowns, and mortality rates. I think governments and health authorities should use comics and other alternative media to explain scientific concepts and health policies. That's because they can reach out to a greater part of the population than if they just use the old, formal, traditional means of communication. If we look at the long arc of human history, we have survived multiple pandemics and epidemics worse than COVID-19, including the Black Death, the 1918 influenza pandemic, and each time we have come up stronger for it. I believe the same will be true for COVID-19.